Rakta Yahawa Brakata Yahweh Shah Brakta Yahawa Brakata Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Pork is unclean to you. Lord will you are edified. This video was inspired by a video posted on the YouTube platform, GMS Amoth Yaas from Yahawada 144, Baba Shah, subscribe. And his video is entitled, The Wicked Will Not Be Corrected. Leviticus 11 and 7, and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Now, why is he unclean? Well, what makes him an abomination? An abomination is uh, uh, something that can't be, uh, 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 he's past being unclean. I, I got that. I get that. But why, what makes him unclean? Is it because he's not safe to eat? Let's find out. All right. Yes, he's not safe to eat. Okay, for example, if you eat pork, there are repercussions such as high blood pressure, okay, which further proves that a pig is not safe to eat for an Israelite. He's got a split hoof and he looks like a grazing animal, but he doesn't chew the cud. He only got one belly. So that means that his blood is impure. You can't. If, 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 if the Most High didn't classify him as abominable, you would try to sacrifice a pig's blood on the altar, which you cannot do. His blood cannot atone for your sins. That's no, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Okay, and the reason why that pig's blood cannot atone for our sins prior to Yahawashah dying on the cross for the nation of Israel beginning with the elect because a pig is classified as unclean within Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh's protocol what makes him unclean it makes him ceremonially unclean and because a pig is identified as ceremonial unclean okay by default we can't even eat it because the most high would not accept it that's just like me telling a brother, look, eat plastic. Okay, you can eat plastic, but I don't eat plastic. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Not that you can't eat him now, and I'm going to show you why. Now, y'all see this right here? I got it highlighted. Now, what you want to do, for those of you and some of you... Finished. Let's go to... Leviticus 11 and 1, and Yahweh spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the sons of Israel. And in modern terms, okay, so called Negroes, so called Hispanics, and so called Native Americans, based on the lineage of our fathers. These are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth, right? So when we jump down, and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he choose not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat. What? Of their flesh. Slakia. Of their flesh shall you not eat. And their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. And that's period. Okay, and honestly, we don't even have to go into the Hebrew because it's direct. 
the scripture breaks itself down. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divides the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he choose not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. And that's the reason why Jake receives high blood pressure from eating pork because the swine or pork is identified or classified within the protocol of the Most High as being unclean. Okay? Now, let's go into this term, unclean, according to the scriptures. For unclean, Strong's H2931, pronounced as Tama, which means unclean, impure, ethically, and religiously, ritually, okay? Now, what does unclean mean? Unclean, according to New Oxford American Dictionary. It means dirty, morally wrong, okay? Regarded in a particular religion as impure and unfit to be eaten. Okay, that is very good. Regarded in a particular religion as impure and unfit to be eaten. Okay, now ethics goes into what morals meaning what's right and what's wrong all right and according to leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7 yahweh bahasham yahweh shah is telling us that the swine is unclean therefore do not eat it okay and as a result of eating swine what happens Jake receives high blood pressure, okay? It's no benefit in eating swine. Okay, so impure goes into not pure, okay? And according to Strong's definitions, filed in a religious sense, defiled, infamous, unclean, polluted. So what is polluted? Polluted means what? contaminated with harmful or poisonous substances, okay, such as the pig, and best believe what? Best believe it starts from a religious standpoint, okay? Because Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah instructed us, okay, with the law, statutes, and the commandments, and the law, statutes, and the commandments are our ethics, Okay, and our morals. Okay, this is how we know what is right from wrong. What is wrong from right. Okay, now to further prove what I'm saying. According to DrAx.com, why should, it's like it, why you should avoid pork nutrition, potential benefits, and harmful downsides. Posted November 5th, 2023. Pork is the most widely eaten meat in the world, making up about 36% of meat production worldwide. It's especially popular in East and Southeast Asia, Europe, Sub-Saharan Africa, North America, South America, and 
Oceania. No matter how you think about it, pigs are rather dirty animals, unclean, okay? No matter how you think about it, pigs are rather dirty animals. They are considered the garbage and waste eliminators of the farm, often eating literally anything they can find. This includes not only bugs, insects, and whatever leftover scraps they find laying around, but also their own feces, as well as the dead carcasses of sick animals, including their young, their own young, okay? You are what you eat. So by a person consuming a pig, okay, that person is consuming all of those um, unclean things that pig has consumed, okay? <clears throat> Just knowing what a pig's diet is like can explain why the meat of the pig cannot be so appetizing to consume while being grossed out. May or may not be a valid reason not to eat something. It's vital to understand a bit more about pork before reaching your own conclusion. Okay, so this article supports potential benefits, okay? But when it comes to the standard of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, he stated, and the swine, though he devised the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he choose not to cut. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So by default, we know that consuming a pig has no potential benefits. Okay? So there's no need to read that bullshit. The problems with pork, the pig's problematic digestive system. There are reasons that the meat of the pig becomes more saturated with, with toxins than many of its counterpart farm animals. The first reason has to do with the digestive system of a pig. During the digestive process, animals, including humans, get rid of excess toxins as well as other components of the food eaten that could be dangerous to health. Since the pig's digestive system operates rather basically, many of these toxins remain in its system to be stored in its more than adequate fatty tissues ready for our consumption. And that's another reason Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, deemed this animal as being unsafe, unclean to eat as well. Another issue with the pig is that it has very few functional sweat glands and can barely sweat at all. Sweat glands are a tool the body uses to be rid of toxins. This leaves more toxins in the pig's body. When you consume pork meat, you too get all these toxins that weren't eliminated from the pig. Wait a minute. When you consume pork meat, you too get all these toxins that weren't eliminated from the pig. For instance, there have been examples of pigs and pork products being contaminated with okra toxin A, salmonella, metals, mycotoxins, and other toxin-related outbreaks. Again, Leviticus 11 and 7, and the swine, though he devised the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he choose not the cud, he is unclean to you of their flesh shall you not eat and their carcass shall you not touch they are unclean to you number two increased cancer risk from bacon and other processed pork according to the WHO processed meat like ham 
bacon, the sausage can cause cancer. The International Agency for Research on Cancer actually classifies processed meat as a carcinogen, carcinogen, something that causes cancer. Researchers found that consuming 50 grams of processed meat each day raises your risk of colorectal cancer by a very significant 18%. swine flu in humans, okay, by eating a pig. And also trichinosis dangers. Did you know that pigs carry a variety of parasites in their bodies and meat? Some of these parasites are difficult to kill even when cooking. This is the reason there are so many warnings out there about eating undercooked pork. So even if you cook it well, you still can get contaminated slaki. You still can get parasites from consuming this meat, even if it's well done. Okay, enough said, man. Pigs harbor common viruses and parasites. And again, that's the reason why Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is telling us to stay away from it. Okay? There's no accounts where Yahweh Shai ate pork. Okay? So if it was so good to eat, my man, okay? If the fucking pig was so good to eat, why don't we have any accounts of Yahweh Shai eating pork? Okay, he ate lamb, fish, okay, and that's lawful. Last precept, let's go to Second Maccabees 7 and 1. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. Wait a minute. Let's read that again. 2 Maccabees 7 and 1. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. So eating swine's flesh, eating pork, eating pig is against the law. It's contrary to the law. And were tormented with scourges and whips. But one of them that spoke first said, Thus, what would you ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. And these brothers, including their mother, were murdered and willing to die for not eating pork. Read this account. And Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is exercising judgment on you via kidney failure. Okay? When you go into that term, diet, diet goes into a way of life. And your way of life is death. Look at you. Look at you. Your exterior, such as your body, right, shows your discipline. Lord will you edify Shalom.